my name's Claire and you're watching Stitch Home Sew. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Today's video is a Friday Sews video, so I'm going to be talking to you all about what I've been up to in terms of sewing in the last couple of weeks. Now, it's been two or three weeks since I last posted a video, so sorry for the absence. Life just is busy and sometimes something has to give and that is the videoing and editing so I apologize for not being around but I'm back today to tell you what I've been up to so I hope you enjoyed today's video and you'll stick with me so what have I been up to so in terms of life just um back to school um for my kids um my youngest started in year r so he was on kind of a part-time ta timetable for the first couple of weeks and sort of meet the teacher and various different things so that was a lot of toing and froing back to the school but he's now in full time so that's great both kids in the same school at the same time with only one lot of emails coming out which is great um and I went away for the weekend with some girlfriends, which was lovely. We went to a um, hotel for a night. Uh, it was like a spa hotel. We didn't have any treatments as such, but, you know, we spent some time in the swimming pool and the jacuzzi and things. And we had a lovely meal um, and then just an evening of a little bit of wine and some nibbles and things. So it was just, yeah, a really lovely weekend away. Um, and other than that, just spending time with my family and things and yeah, just sort of the start of the school term. So that's what I've been up to in terms of life and obviously working and things, but I don't need to talk about that. Totally boring. So in terms of sewing, I've managed to get a bit of sewing done, not huge amounts in relation to some months, although I, I feel like I've said that a lot recently, my sewing output is definitely... Uh, reduced over the last few months I just having a time when I just don't seem to have quite as much time for sewing or sort of the energy come the evenings um, but I have done some sewing and let's talk about that so um, the first thing that I've been making was what was actually for my August brand ambassador ambassador goodness me ambassador ambassador <laughs> brand ambassador there we go <laughs> project and it was actually for august now uh during the month of august my husband was really quite unwell for a good couple of weeks um really sort of you know only in bed and so in terms of sort of the rest of life that goes on with you know ha having a house and a family that was sort of left for me to do so I didn't manage to get huge amounts of sewing done in August and um, so my project for August was a bit late uh, but they were very understanding of that um, you know like family must come before sewing at times uh, and this is what I've made now this is using a waterproof fabric they've got a range of different um, designs uh, it's really great quality it definitely is waterproof uh, I was worried that it was going to be quite difficult to sew with it wasn't at all um, I chose to use a Microtex needle um, but that was the only kind of adjustment that I made it so just as any other material would sew really I didn't really find that an issue at all um, I've used fusible foam on the inside uh, just to kind of give it some you know some strength and some uh, cushioning for the items that go inside and also it's lined and things I'll show you that in a little bit uh, so yeah this fabric as I say there's a number of different designs that they do um, but this is the one that I picked um, I luckily had these colour zips in my stash which was really useful I don't really know why I had them but I did <laughs> um, and I bought some webbing and things to go with it and the um, you know the hardware as you call it and then inside I've used a uh, cotton poplin I think they call it cotton perk purkle um but in this um 
leopard print design and then I just you I just made a, a like a slip pocket to put my laptop in as well and that was just I just kind of took the measurements of the laptop added it a little bit all the way around and that fits really snugly in there so when I need to use it um, so that's really good so I've been using this for work um, and I'm really pleased with it actually it's big enough to kind of fit all my essentials in um, and inside it's got a couple of slip pockets on either the front and the back that one's got a little um, pen holder in I've got some post-it notes um, and then there's a zip pocket at the front for bits and bobs and things so yeah really chuffed with that make I used a simply sewing pattern which was, came free with the magazine and it's called the Riley backpack and yeah it was okay the instructions I have to say weren't fabulous there were a little things few things along the, the way that I think I just sort of made things up as I went along a little bit but I don't think it's caused me any major issues um, it was fine for a backpack in retrospect I would prefer that it had some sort of storm flap over the zip so that it's more protected um, in the weather but obviously that's got nothing to do with the fabric just the design that I chose but yeah overall pretty happy with the make um, and definitely in the future I'd look to make uh, more of a rucksack style thing but I don't think I'd necessarily choose this particular pattern but it was a good starting point and I'm pleased as you can tell with the overall make so that's good um, and then moving on to September's brand ambassador oh look I got it right that time <laughs> don't know why I couldn't say it last time our project um, the idea was to the theme for the particular month was to sew something for somebody else so bearing in mind my August project had rolled forward to September I decided that I wanted to make something from jersey fabrics that I could whip it up reasonably quickly um, and recently I've made a couple of things for my husband um, and so I decided it was time to make something for my boys so I've made them identical jumpers now I don't know how long I'm going to get away with this <laughs> <laughs> so my older son is eight nearly nine um, and at some point in the very near future he is going to feel that this is not cool um, I think he'd be fine if um, they wear them at separate times but I think we're probably edging towards the point of I don't really want to wear the same thing at the same time uh, but equally <laughs> he's definitely like if I make something for the younger one why didn't I get one too so I think I'm still okay at the moment <laughs> anyway the I so I've made two hoodies uh, using my all-time favorite kids pattern which is the waves and wild hot chocolate pattern which you can do as a hoodie there's a cow neck option you can make it uh, longer and use it as like a jumper dress you can do a crew neck um, but I've gone for the hoodie version with um, the kangaroo pocket on the front so this is my older son's version um, so as I say he's eight nearly nine I've gone for the age 10 so it's got some because he's as I always harp on he's bigger anyway um, and so it's got a little bit of room in it um, yes hopefully that will fit they haven't actually seen these jumpers yet they don't actually know they're being made so i can't show you pictures of them with them on but that that's the older one and then the younger one is exactly the same but obviously in a smaller size he's four um he'll be five a bit later on well at the beginning of the new year um and so i've gone with an age five for him and that I think will fit him pretty well I had this cuffing fabric in the sort of dark red um, in my stash already and I just thought that went really quite nicely as a bit of a sort of a contrast but I think those two colors together look quite nice um, 
and I'm debating about whether to get kind of like an iron on patch. Uh, my younger son is super into Spider-Man um, and other action hero figures, so or action cartoon characters and things. So um, yeah, I'm debating about getting a iron on patch to put on his in particular, possibly for my older son as well. But the reason I haven't done it so far is that this cuffing is quite a dark red rather than a brighter red. And I know that the patches, you know, if I was to get a Spider-Man one, for instance, it will be very, a very bright red. And then I think it will just look a bit naff. So, yeah, I haven't done that so far. Something I might do, but as I say, debating about it. Obviously, they've both got the hoods on the back. Um, and on both of them, I've added a little label that says, you are a superstar. Um, and those are from the Specky Seamstress. And I just thought that obviously the colours are pretty good on there um, for them. And I, <laughs> they like a label because obviously shop bought clothes always have a label at the back and that note. So they know obviously the hood would go at the back, but I just thought I'd go and put a label on too. So yeah, super chuffed with those. It was lovely to do a jersey make that sews up really quickly on the overlocker. I really enjoyed making them actually because I haven't really done anything like this for a while. Um, all of my makes have been really in recent times. I think I've made one Naya t-shirt that was from Jersey. I don't think I've done, other than making a few pairs of shorts and things for the boys, I haven't really done any, what I feel like a proper, I don't know. It, it felt like a while since I've made anything from Jersey and I really enjoyed doing it. And obviously sewing up a pattern that's like a tried and true is just lovely because you don't have to worry about constantly referring to uh, instructions and things you can just sort of sew them up and I sort of um, did that both jumpers exactly the same time so sort of each section was exactly the same so yeah waffling on <laughs> as you can tell I'm pleased with them hopefully they will like them too when they do get to see them and once I've got a picture I will pop um, that up either on Instagram or on here or something so yeah, that's what I've been up to in terms of sewing. Um, I have had a few things come through the post. Obviously one thing was that the fabric that you've obviously already seen for my post. Um, and so I've got a little pile of fabrics, a little haul, shall we say, of fabrics and things here. Um, I'm trying to think whether there has been anything else. I think there's been like a couple of haberdashery. They're boring. We don't need to worry about those. So, but one sort of haberdashery item that I was been particularly pleased, pleased with is this loop turner because I'm working on a collaboration project which uh, required making kind of uh, loops and really, really narrow ones. And so I decided to invest in a loop turner, particularly for this really small one. And I have to say, I don't know why I haven't done it before because it was an absolute game changer. <laughs> so if you haven't bought one of these, I would highly recommend it, particularly for this size one, because at that size, trying to turn a loop through, even if you've done the whole, like in the past, I've done the thing where you sew in a bit of thread that's longer and pull it. But I always find that it's still really fiddly getting that initial end through and pulled up and things. So yeah chuffed with that little purchase and then for my uh, brand ambassador because the uh, project for the rain fabric was a bit more kind of involved they said that we could choose a, a meter of fabric of our own choice whatever fabric on from their website so I've gone for this velvet plush fabric because I just think it is beautiful and it just feels gorgeous. Now, I've got no idea what I'm going to make with it. I'm thinking, um, you know, things for gifts and things, little pouches, that sort of thing. I think they'll look gorgeous in this. Um, possibly a bag come the summer. I think that'd be really nice in a, uh, as a kind of a summer bag. 
um, you know, crossbody bag or something. I think that'd be gorgeous. So yeah, I just think it's really, really pretty and it just feels beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you can think of any ideas for a meter of this fabric. Uh, it's relatively wide, uh, but I don't think you could necessarily make like a, I think a bomber in something like this would be amazing, but there's not enough fabric to do that. But I guess I could buy myself another piece. But it is a bit loud for me for a bomber jacket, if I'm honest with you. I don't know. I don't think I'd wear that. All credit to anybody that has got the gumption to, to do that, but I don't think it's me. Okay, so the next couple of fabrics, uh, when I met up with the lovely Katie from Whatever Katie Sews, she was wearing the assembly line high cuff top. It's a, uh, you can make it from a non-stretch fabric, but then for the cuffs and the neckband and things, you use um, ribbing fabric. I'll pop a picture in of a stock photo or something. And, um, and then at the back, the back uh, waistband is sort of bigger at the back uh, than at the front um, as a sort of design feature. So um, I've got that pattern now, which I'm really looking forward to making. So what I did was I was placing an order with Pound Fabrics um, and I've just picked up um, a little bit of this fabric. I thought that would look really nice as a high cuff top. Um, it was fairly inexpensive. <laughs> so this was kind of so that I could do a bit of a test, a wearable toile, if you like, of that fabric. And so I've also picked up some black ribbing fabric, cuffing fabric, whatever you want to call it, um, to go with that, which I think will be really nice. I also picked up, whilst I was doing the order, some um, dinosaur print, which I just thought was a really great print. Let me see if I can show that so that you guys can see it. Um, yeah, a really lovely print with dinosaurs that was kind of more aimed at an older age group. Obviously, often when you get dinosaurs um, print, they're a little bit childish for my um, older son now um, and so I think that one would be really nice and obviously I could use the uh, ribbing fabric for for the neck band obviously I could make it out of the same material but I think it looks quite nice with that with the ribbing and plus it uh, I think it has better recovery in terms of really sort of stretching over your head. So I think that's probably what I'll go for. So yeah, that one's for my older son. And the reason I went up on fabrics in the first place was my younger son is very much in charge of his own wardrobe. He's very particular about what he likes to wear. I'm kind of glad we're now into kind of school uniform for him for the weekdays. Although as soon as he gets home, he wants to put choose his own clothes um, so he's very particular if he's having a spider-man day then everything would be spider-man related whether that be a spider-man top and trousers or whether that be a spider-man top and then the trousers would need to be the right the appropriate color or he'll choose to be all green or um, or lego themed or yeah very specific very <laughs> <laughs> it's just very clear on how he wants to dress. My older son has never been particularly bothered as long as he thinks he looks okay. He's never particularly bothered about what he puts on. My younger son, completely different. So he said to me that he wanted something made out of bear fabric. So he wanted something with bears on. So I went on to, I, and I know that he wanted jersey, fabric because it wanted it to be nice and stretchy um so <laughs> i went onto pound fabrics to see if i could have a look and we had a little look together and he decided on this fabric so this is the panda from kung fu panda the film and i yes have got I think I ended up going for a couple of meters because I'm not sure whether or not you had to buy a couple of meters 
pound fabric does that sometimes when it's like a particularly bargainous fabric or whether I decided I needed two meters anyway <laughs> I've got two meters of this stuff so he's probably going to get a t-shirt some trousers so he can wear them as pajamas or whatever um he'll probably get some shorts <laughs> so I will see how much I can get for him out of that amount I will see I mean it is quite a lot of fabrics for a five-year-old so I will see if my older son likes it or not but he might think it's a bit young for him but anyway my younger son's super happy about it um I did arrive probably a couple of weeks ago now so uh, initially he kept pestering me to make it up but I just haven't had time and so thankfully he's sort of forgotten about it a little bit so I've had a reprieve so I better hide it away before he comes home <laughs> otherwise he will be asking me all about it um and asking me to get on with it which I will but I just need a little bit more time so in terms of plans um, I am doing a collaboration with the lovely Katrina from Create Something Pretty um, and I'm sure she's completely done and I'm completely not. It's cut out, I've made a start Katrina um, and I really hope over the weekend to make some real progress on it. It just hasn't quite happened for as one reason or another. So I will, it is my next project to do. Um, and I, as I say, I'm really hoping to make some progress on that over the weekend. And yeah, and then we will do our collaboration videos um, for that. Um, another thing that I've got in my mind that I would like to try and make um, is I'm going to the knitting and stitching show in Alexandra Palace um, the weekend, I want to say the weekend of the 8th, around about the 8th of October, on the Saturday anyway. Um, meeting up with a few people there I'm sure there's other people that are going to be going as well so if you are please do come over and say hello um, hopefully going to bump into lots of other lovely people lots of lovely sewists and things so yeah that will be a great day now of course I'm thinking to myself well of course I can't go to a sewing event without a new outfit so in my mind I'm trying to think of what I'd like to make for that as well. I think I've just got enough time to whip up something for that too. So watch this space and I will try and keep you updated on my progress for that because the only point I've really got to is that I'd like to. <laughs> um, I know I've got a few sort of suitable fabrics I think in my stash but I need to think about what pattern I want to do um, and therefore what fabric is suitable. I think um, that I should probably go for something that I have made before so that I don't need to worry too much about well, how do I make this etc so something that's sort of a tried and true so I will as I say keep you updated on my knitting and stitching uh, dress we'll call it <laughs> and let you know how I'm getting on um, before I go uh this jumper i made for the so fruity challenge i was a little bit like hmm, will i wear it um out and about the, the answer is that all of you said to me absolutely you should and i have obviously not over the summer when it was super hot but now the weather's starting to get colder again um i've been wearing it um a little bit more and before the weather got particularly warm i wore it a few times out and about as well so it's definitely getting somewhere it is the made it patterns hug hoodie um i'll try and pop a picture in of me wearing it it's got like kind of a crossover detail at the bottom which i just really like i think it really elevates a standard sweatshirt it just adds a bit of an interest unfortunately this pattern is no longer available because the the company no longer trade which is really upsetting um it's a jumper I really liked. I believe there was some tracksuit bottoms that a lot of people made to go with it as well, but I didn't buy that particular pattern. But yeah, uh, yeah, I particularly like it. I think it sort of elevate, as I say, elevates a standard sweatshirt really. Um, I think that is it from me today. Um, sorry, <laughs> it's been a bit of a whistle stop tour. Um, trying to squeeze this in in my lunch break while the children aren't around because they're at school um, and I'm working at home 
today so I thought I'd quickly record a video in my lunch break. So I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. I, as I say, I'm sorry I haven't been around for a little while. I will try and be a little bit more regular moving forward, but we'll see how we get on. I keep promising that and don't quite deliver. So I'm, I am apologise for my inconsistency and I'm sure YouTube won't particularly like me for it either in terms of the algorithm and blah, 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 blah. But we can only do what we can do. So I will say goodbye to you all from for now. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do give me a like and if you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you consider doing so. But until next time, take care. Happy sewing. Bye-bye.